Hey guys, you might not be able to see my face, but uh, I figured I'd do a tutorial on something that I did yesterday with my thumb. You might not be able to see inside, you can see the blue. But uh, what I did is I put tape for the front of my thumb and tape for the back of my thumb, and I tapered it off. So we got my yellow slug here. Uh, I got old tape in there I gotta take out first with my You can use a tape removal tool, you can use a small little flathead screwdriver, but they get the tape out. But every now and then you want to make sure you check your tape. Because your tape can get old and it can suck when you when you bolt. And you can sometimes you can tell when you need new tape, uh, your grip's not as well as it is, and stuff like that. So what I meant by tapering it is you want to take a full piece of tape like this here, and you want to go and get another full piece, and you want to cut it down like these three pieces are here. Now I've already cut one one side for the one side of my thumb and stuff like that. So you always want to make sure you have your ball on you just to make sure you can check to see where your tape goes and stuff like that. And I have my ball here and I'll put my slug in so I can see where my thumb's going to be. And it's pretty much what I thought. As you can tell, my thumb goes about right there. So we're going to go, we're going to layer these, layer these before we put them in there. And what I like to do for the back of my thumb is I use, like to use black tape. So I'll show you how we layer this. What you want to do is you want to make sure you get this matched up with the end, with the end of the full piece. And just lay it on top of there and push down so it stays nice and secure. Then you want to take your other pieces and layer, layer them on there too. Now here's what the full piece is for. The full piece is to go and sit on top of all the pieces you just did, and it's to make sure they stay nice, nice and secure. So you want to take take your full piece and get it on there as good as you can, and just lightly lay it down on there, press so you can see the ribs, and it looks like one full piece. Now the reason why you want to do it is that you want it to make it feel like one full piece, but tapered off pretty good inside the thumb. So then once again, you just want to take that piece off. You want to take your thumb. Some people do this with their thumb in the ball, some do it without in. But you want to make sure you can see where you, see where you had it before. And then And then you just want to place your tape inside your thumb. Now since I said that's from the back of my thumb, I want to make sure you take your ball, put your slug back in. And check it to make sure that's the right spot. Now, is what I did there is I accidentally put it on and put it in on the front where my thumb goes. Where the front where the, where the, where the, where the front of my thumb goes, and that isn't where I want it. I want it further on the back of my thumb. So I'm going so you're quickly able to take that out because you have because it hasn't set yet. So since my slugs in my ball, I'm just gonna go and put it on the back of my thumb, and I'll show you, show you what what kind of tape I'm gonna use for the front of my thumb. So I just place it in there, push it in there, and make sure it's nice and secure. So now we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna take a whole piece of black. A whole piece, a two whole pieces of black. The one piece we're probably going to use to cut and lay our stuff. So I'll show you how we do that. So there's my whole piece. There's another piece I'm going to cut. So what you want to do is you want to cut off the rounded part here. Cut that off. Match up with that. That'll be the start of it. So to correct myself. I say I say you only need two. You need three. So what you do is you take the third one, take the piece you just cut, stick it on the third one, and you go about halfway where that one would be and cut. 
and then that's your next piece that will go on top of there. So then what you do is you just take this piece here and you just cut it about right there and that gives you your three pieces here. But for the piece for this part of my thumb here, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use Vice's uh, field performance tape. I like using the blue, which is the, number, the darker blue, which is number five. I feel like it gives me the most grip and stuff like that. So we'll just set that there for now. And we'll go ahead and layer, layer this tape here. And while I'm doing this, it'd be nice to know, like, what kind of tape do you, does everybody like to use for their thumbs, in their in their thumb line? Do you like to use, like, the smooth black? Do you like to use the super textured black, the super textured white, textured white? Or do you like to use the Vice Field Performance Tape? Now, I know there's others out there, but, like, and then what size do you like to use? Half, three-quarter, one inch. Uh, I prefer to use one inch because my thumb's a little bit bigger, but it's nice to know what everybody else uses. So now we'll take our piece of tape, my fuel performance tape, I'll take that piece, and I'll place it on top of the tape I just layered. Make sure you push it down so it's nice and secure. And then what you'll do is you'll pull it off, and we'll get our thumb slug again. We'll just pull it out of the ball. And then wherever your black tape, and if you use black tape for the back of your thumb, just line it up to where it comes across for the other side of your thumb. You want to bend it a little so it fits in. Fits in. You can just put it in there, go like that. And then you stick your thumb in to get a nice feel for it. That feels pretty good for me. So. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and that's what I have for now and then make sure to subscribe, like, and follow uh, and I'll get back to you guys later.